All right, guys, so in the last video, we set up our database and we made it so that we could add galleries. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to show the galleries that we add because right now we just have just some static HTML in our main gallery index. So what we're going to do is in the gallery controller, we're going to go to the index method here and we only have to add one line of code here. All right, including a comment. So we want to get all galleries and to do that we're going to use the DB object that we used down here to create a gallery um, so let's put this in a variable called galleries and we'll set this to DB and then we want to do table and we'll specify uh, the galleries table and then we just want to say get and that's it that'll get them for us then what we want to do is pass it into our view so we can do that with compact and just pass in that variable okay so now we should have access to that inside of our index all right so if we go to views and then gallery index <clears throat> I want it to be formatted the same way as these, um, so we just need one of these images, or one of these column divs, and then the rest we can get rid of. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to build a for each around this column div. So we'll say PHP for each and we'll end it right here all right and then what we want to pass in here is that galleries variable that we passed from the controller we'll say for each galleries as gallery and let's see we're going to want to replace this with slash images slash and then we're going to need the cover image so we'll say gallery cover image actually I'm sorry this has to be in PHP <clears throat> all right so that should be good actually what am I doing we want to use blades so we can just wrap this in these double curly braces we don't need actual PHP tags. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. Undefined variable galleries. Hmm. All right, let's go back to index and galleries. Did I save this? home oh we don't want to do this we want to just pass this in with quotes like that with no dollar sign okay so there's our gallery now we obviously don't want this to say my site so we're gonna replace that and all we need to do is say gallery name logos and then we'll put a paragraph right under that and that'll have the description all right we also want a link around the image so let's say a href and we'll just tab this over. So what we want this to go to is we want to go to slash gallery slash show and then we want it to go to the whatever the ID is 
So we're going to put in here gallery ID. All right, so let's reload. And if we click on that, it takes us to <coughs> the gallery show. All right, so let's try and add another uh, thing here. So let me see what kind of images I have. We'll just put in this um, Samsung phone. So the, the gallery, let's call it smartphones. I will say these are the best smartphones. Submit. And there we go. Now we're not getting the message though. Uh, I really, I'd really, i like to get some kind of message and I just don't think that this for some reason this isn't working this width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, let's get rid of that and then right above it we're going to do a backslash session flash and let's say message gallery added all right and then in the main template or the main view we have this here and I want to change this class because this is a bootstrap class what we want to put here is alert box and also let's give it a data alert tab um, attribute just like that and as far as placement I guess we could keep it there so let's try this again so we'll create a gallery and let's see I have some movie posters here so we can call this one movie posters posters of movies <laughs> submit no that didn't work either huh all right so we'll just we'll visit that later it's not it's not extremely important obviously when you upload it and then you see it appear um, it's you know it's there so what we want now is if we click on one of these it's it should take us to show and then the ID so we want this to be a page where it's going to load all of the photos from uh, that particular category or that particular gallery. So let's go to our gallery controller and we want to go down to the show method. Alright, so we're going to want to get two things. We're going to want to get the gallery info. We're also going to want to get the photos. Alright, so let's start with this. We'll say gallery equals db table and you know what I'm going to do is we've been using this table a lot so rather than having to uh, pass in galleries let's set this as a property to this class all right so for instance we'll go whoops we'll go like that and we will set the table name so if we say uh, table is equal to uh, galleries and then we can replace these with this table so if for any reason we want to change the table name we'll just change it here and then it'll reflect uh, throughout the script okay we also want to put it here and here. All right. So we need to specify that we want the gallery with this ID, okay? Whatever ID is passed in. So we need to add on where I'm going to say where ID is equal to ID and we want to get the first record, okay? Cuz there's only one that's going to return, so we'll use first. Then we need to get the photos. All 
All right, and that's just another simple line of code. We're going to say uh, photos equals db table, and we can pass in this table. And we want to say where gallery ID. Actually, let me make sure that I added a gallery ID. So photos, structure, we didn't. No, we didn't add one. So, hmm, let's go ahead and add one. So we'll put this after ID. Okay, this is gonna be gallery underscore ID. It's gonna be an integer. All right, now, we obviously don't have anything in there yet, so we're not actually gonna get to show the, the photos until we do that, until we add the functionality to upload a photo. But um, we can still do this. So we wanna say where gallery ID is equal to whatever ID is passed in, and then we just want to say get. Okay, and then the last thing is just to render the view. So we can, let's copy this. Okay, and we want to render gallery show, and we want to pass in two things, we want to pass in gallery and we also want to pass in photos. All right. Uh, let's see, unexpected table. Huh. 13 table equals gallery. Actually, let's say private unknown column gallery ID in where clause. Oh, you know what? We're not using the galleries table here, so we can change this to photos. All right, so it's gonna be displaying the view. Um, we're not gonna be able to show anything here or show any photos because there are none, but um, Let's make sure the, the view is being linked. So we want to be in gallery show. And we'll just say this is show. OK. So for now, let's at least link the main layout. So if we copy this, actually, let's copy all this. Okay, this is going to have um, the gallery title, so we should be able to say gallery uh, name down here. Let's get rid of that for each. And then this will be the gallery description. Good, so you can see we have our logos. Um, let's put it back to galleries up here. So we'll put that right above the H1. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll put it right above the H1. So this will just go to slash. Now if we go back and we click on smartphones, so you can see we're getting the gallery data. All right. Now in the gallery, let's create a button to upload a photo. All right, so back in the show view, we're gonna go right under this paragraph and let's say a class is button. 
and we want this to go to uh, slash photo slash upload and we want to include the gallery ID number alright because we want that to be included so gallery underscore ID okay and then we'll just say upload photo Undefined variable gallery ID. Oh, I'm sorry, this should be an arrow. Okay, there we go. Upload photo. I don't know why that text is dark. That's kind of weird. Huh. Let's change that. Um, so if we go to public CSS, app CSS and let's give it a class we'll say button um, button upload there we go so that takes us to the upload. This obviously it's not going to show anything uh, because we don't have the view or anything set up. So in the next video we're going to set that form so we can upload a photo and then we'll make it so that we can see them all here in the gallery view. Alright so we'll get to that next.